And we are back with the uh, actually the rise of Ted Cantu building a better Detroit. Uh, Ted, uh, you started out as an art director in Chicago and New York City, and you worked through the uh, generations of multimedia with clients like small companies like General Motors, Ford. Coca-Cola, WWE, and NBC, and Oprah Winfrey, too, Capitol Records, and uh, you also uh, have been extremely uh, uh, busy in doing a lot of the stuff, uh, creating uh, the cutting edge of websites, and uh, you don't necessarily stick to all the big guys, but you work with uh, Fortune 500 com uh, companies, and uh, in uh, 2011, uh, 2001, the events of 911 and the event and the crash of the dot com industry sort of changed your life around. And uh, despite that, uh, now you're working for wholesalers, retail stores, and creating streams of income in a variety of in industries. And you're the author of two books, is that right? Yes. Wow, uh, very good. So, uh, Been busy. Yeah, so you're prolific. <laughs> uh, now, uh, I've known you for quite a while, and uh, one thing that I've always admired about you is that uh, you are uh, right at the forefront of what is going on now. And the term that keeps coming up all the time is uh, search engine marketing. What is that all about? Search engine marketing, it's, it's basically, I think it's the future of Detroit, really. I mean, it's, it's interesting. Seven years ago, uh, everyone was uh, just kind of winging it. And, and now, uh, because the search engines have really caught up in technology, there's really a, a great strategic way that we can compete with big companies now. Uh, some of my jewelry stores are competing with national accounts like Blue Nile Diamonds. I mean, we're neck and neck on the search engines. It's really exciting. So we're actually leveling the playing field for so many companies now. Right. Now your company has got an interesting name, Style Jab, S-T-Y-L-E, Jab. Yeah, right? Style <laughs> Jab. That's one of my companies. It's uh, We're working with uh, retail stores and also fashion and salons. Mm -hmm. And we're actually, um, we're, we're getting like six out of top ten search engine rankings on Google. So that means it's basically out of the top ten spots, we're actually getting six of those spots, sometimes a full ten. Mm -hmm. So we're really um, bringing revenue streams and uh, more marketing awareness to, to local business, and that's really exciting. Mm -hmm. right? It's a real game changer now. Now, uh, you uh, are dealing with all kinds of companies, and uh, it seems to me one of the most competitive areas are financial companies. Do you want to take a few minutes? How do yeah. you help a financial companies? I'm, I'm, I'm so excited about that. Uh, the SEC actually dropped their uh, standards for advertising. Uh, it hasn't happened in about 90 years. Um, they're basically letting financial companies advertise any way they want to on the web, the social media and uh, search engine marketing. And it's not quite as rigid as it used to be. And, uh, so, so it's, really, it's really awesome for investors, too. So this way, a financial company that, that before uh, had all kinds of restrictions as to what they can do, and now it's opened it up so that they can be more open. Yes. Well, that's wonderful. Yeah. And uh, if uh, someone out there uh, is a financial planner, is that the type of client that you'd like to see if you can help? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Investment firms, mm -hmm. uh, stock trading, even uh, stock trading schools. I got a couple of those that were helping. So, it's moving along. So, so let's say I'm a financial planner and I call up Ted Cantu, what phone number should I call you at? You, can you call it 248-631-9211? It's 248-631-9211. So what happens uh, when they call you and I'm a financial planner, hey Ted, I want to get more clients, what can you do for me? Well, it's interesting, you know, um, there's a new thing out right now, we basically call it Moneyball SEO. If you've seen the film of Brad Pitt, uh, Oakland A's and how they built a team together with defective players, um, same kind of thing for the web. A lot of websites that are out there right now is based on a point system, and, and a lot of them just don't, uh, uh, they're, they're not, they're not uh, optimized correctly. If you put the right types of keywords in place, you can actually jump over these guys in, in as little as a couple of days. Uh, our record's three days, uh, average is about two weeks. So um, 
what we do is we look at their keyword strategy, find out uh, where they want to pop up, why they're not coming up in the city that they want to be in, and uh, we help fix it. Now, uh, you're talking to a non-tech, so okay. uh, take me a step back uh, where uh, we're talking typewriters and stuff. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, you know, I like to share everything. Yeah, so absolutely. I, so they, so I, including sneezing. Now, what about the uh, aspect of, I'm a financial planner and I don't have a good web page, can you assist me in putting something together so when people do find me that it works out? Yes, yes. Um, there's, uh, it's, like, it's like going to the blackjack table, you gotta kind of know what needs to go into your web page? You know, uh, how do you beat the casino? Basically, if you follow the rules, um, there is an infallible way that you can actually beat uh, your competitors. Uh, there's a keyword count that has to go into a place. It's got to be repeated so many times. You have to have a great link strategy, and and you, but more more importantly, you want to know exactly where you're going to come up and uh, what city you want to be in. A lot of companies I talk to, they're too general, they're too broad, and uh, they take too many general. Um, keywords, they just throw anything in there. Uh, one company I work with actually put 80 keywords inside of their tags, which is, uh, it's going to get you blacklisted or ignored, it's not going to do anything for you. So you want to be really, really strategic and, and more focused. Well, you know, I find this uh, very interesting because uh, you're using phraseology that uh, means a lot to you. I'm just uh, wanting to boil it down. If I'm a financial planner, what you can do, Ted Can, to is actually get people to log on to my web page. Is that right? Right. And then you can also assist them on the web page to uh, get the person hopefully interested enough that they make a private uh, appointment. With them. Is that correct? Exactly, yeah. If, uh, if they just type in a couple of keywords, uh, Birmingham Financial Planner, you pop up, basically. You pop up and yeah. from there. Uh, but, uh, like the old Joe goes, uh, people will beat a path to your door. If you build a better mousetrap, they're not going to come to your door. They don't know where you are. In your case, Ted Jan, too, uh, with Style Jab, you tell them where that door is. <laughs> and they, instead of mice that they're concerned about, how do I make more money? Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Good. And there's more to talk about. Unfortunately, we run out of time, Ted Jan, too. Great, uh, great idea, and uh, I know you will... Uh, You'll deliver, my man. That's wonderful. Two four eight six three one nine two one one. Right now, only enough time for my parting shot. That's it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, right. sorry. Uh, <laughs> that always goes by so fast. <laughs> yeah. Right now, I'm wondering. <laughs>